um, who's the best person or act you get to do a show with? The best performers? Uh, Blues Trap, I would say. They were, John Popper is like, just a great performer. He's one of those guys, you know, like, guys that are meant to perform. They're supposed to be doing that with their lives. Yeah. Um, so you just played an acoustic show, and, and it was supposed to be filmed for a DVD. You, how was that filming, and what made you decide to do kind of like a storyteller type of show? Yeah, I kind of realized after the song, I didn't do much storytelling. I mean, after the show, and, uh, which is kind of funny. But, um... It was an idea of somebody. I think George had the idea. George is my drummer. He had the idea of doing an acoustic show and, uh, you know, just like telling stories. Because, like, we get, I get messages on MySpace all the time. What is this song about? What is this about? What is this about? And it's like, I don't know. It's, well, they're all, you know, they all have some kind of truth to them, like some you know, personal stuff. But, um, um, and then people always ask, like, you know, when are you going to have, like, videos of these songs and stuff? And, so we taped it. A couple people taped it. So I haven't seen anything yet, but we'll see. Okay. Now on to the fun thing. Oh, if you were a crayon, what color would you be? Mm. I'd be magenta. Because it's one of those crayons, I don't really know what it is. You know, like one of those strange names for a crayon? Magenta? You know? And, uh, right, that's what I would be, magenta. Um, describe your perfect date. My perfect date? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, no nagging, uh, she pays, um, a good movie, and, uh, that's it, yeah. Is that good? Um, <laughs> what are your turn-offs? Turn-offs? Find a girl? Maybe? Um, I don't know. Jeez, who is this? Who are you, Dr. Phil? Um, I don't know. Girls? I don't know. Just pain the ass girls? I don't know. I like girls who are cool, you can like joke with. <laughs> okay. Well, what can a fan do to get your attention? I had this <laughs> I had this one show that I played this summer where they blew up a picture of my face and it was just my face it was like and it was just like a close up picture like after a show. It wasn't like a studio pic or anything like that. It was just a pic and I was like sweaty and I was just like uh, and it was just all like on their shirt and that that got that got my attention. And it was sort of strange, very strange but um, what's your most embarrassing moment on stage? Um, I like to tell jokes between songs, you know, and then, uh, <laughs> but when you tell a joke and no one laughs, and it's not even like a, like a, kind of like a pleasant silence, it's like a, would you shut up and just, you know, go to the next song or get off stage? We're not here for you, we're here for the headliner. <laughs> so that, you know, there's been some times like that. Do you have any pet peeves? Um... Yeah. Vocals gotta be high enough. Because when you play with a band, sometimes they bury the vocal and you can't hear it, and it just pisses me off, you know? When people come and say, oh, like, you know, oh, the show was really good, but your vocal was too low. We couldn't hear you. It's like, the sound guys don't hear that? What's wrong with them? That's it. Alright. Do you have any bad habits? I bite my nails. It's a nervous habit. Look. Since I was like really young at it, and I try to do, get better at it, but I don't realize it. And then I mean, I mess them up because of playing like this finger. Like, look at that. Like, from finger picking and stuff, it just like tears it up. But I still bite my nails. And... That's a good habit. And can you send a message out to all your fans? Hello, all you wonderful fans of mine, or friends, I should say. Um, you guys are great. 2006, 2007. I hope it's going to be even much better. Um, thank you guys for 
sport, and uh, we'll see you this year a lot, hopefully.